Good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday, July 17th, which means today we're exactly 16 weeks out from my first figure bodybuilding competition. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name's Alicia, um, and as you can probably guess from my little intro, I am in prep for my very first bodybuilding show. Um, yeah, just an update. Today's a good day. Um, I've got a little lift that I'm about to hit. Uh, I'm doing chest and quads. So I'll take you guys through that. Um, I might do some bit of posing after, um, so long as it's not too busy. It doesn't look busy. I'm just in the parking lot now. It doesn't look that busy. So I'm hoping I can get some posing in and I'll kind of show you that as well. Um, and what else am I doing today? I have to go take my bridesmaid's dress in to the mall to get it altered. I am in my friend's wedding, which is August 20th, which is coming up. Um, we bought these dresses like end of last year, maybe even early 2022. And I was like 25, 30 pounds heavier than what I am now. So I tried it on the other day and realized that if I shimmy a little too hard, it just completely falls off. So yeah, unfortunately I have to go get it taken in and I have to get the bottoms hemmed. So I'm gonna go to the mall today and do that. And then later on, it's my cheat meal, my one a week. So uh, Alex, my boyfriend and I, we are gonna go to Eastside Mario's for dinner. I don't know if we're gonna eat in or like bring it home. Um, he's pretty hungover. We went out last night. Um, we had a another engagement party for some friends and then we went to a bonfire in the evening. I didn't drink, obviously, because I can't, but he did. He took full advantage of being, of me being the DD. So yeah, he's not feeling too hot, but hopefully he can make it for this cheat meal. I'm not missing it. And, uh, I already plan what I'm getting. I'm getting seafood linguine and I'm gonna get the salted caramel brownie for dessert, we're gonna split it. I haven't had pasta in months, and before prep, I was the kid who would have pasta for dinner like probably two to three times a week. So I'm really excited to get some, some noodles and some seafood in me. But yeah, that's probably the major updates. Um, I'll kinda take you through today. 16 weeks out, what's a workout and a cheat meal look like? And yeah. Let's jump into things. The music. The music is off in here today. And my AirPods are dead. So we're off to a good start. Okay. So we're bringing wraps down and bring the weight up. 
Um, then I went down to a set of 10 at 125. And now I'm about to do my set of 8 for 135. And then I'll finish off for a quick set of 5 at 145. That's just counting like the weights on one side of the rack. Um, so that's not even the total amount of weight I'm pushing. I'm just kind of counting what's across or sorry what's on one side of the, the leg press machine um and then once i finish that set of five i immediately drop down to 90 pounds and i'll finish off at a set of 10 just to burn out so yeah that's leg press that's probably like the kind of meat and potatoes exercise of my quads portion of today and then i'll do two more little quad exercises and then we flip into chest which i'm more excited about because i love chest all right, let's keep killing this. Introduced to me by my coach and I superset those with single leg quad extensions holy shit didn't realize I looked like a hot mess but um to say I'm good at them is probably a lie um, my range of motion is garbage thus the shift from powerlifting to bodybuilding but they're a good way to kind of get some burn going um, in your quad, so yeah, we throw those in. I'll do three sets of 12 for each exercise, each leg. Um, so it comes out to more like 12 sets, but that's okay, I think. 
six. Oh my god. It comes out to more like six sets when it's all said and done because you're doing three sets of 12 on each leg. So, yeah. That's that. Um, and that'll close off quads. And then we move to chest. baseball people are here right now. Nice, interesting. <laughs> um, okay, this is all pretty blocked off, so I might actually go over here. This is normally where like baseball kids train, but I've always been told that if you can pose on turf, then you can basically pose anywhere. <laughs> so here we go. Let's get set up.
includes posing for today. I've noticed that things have been feeling a lot smoother. Like just, I'm not overthinking things as much, <laughs> as much, that's the keyword, as I used to. So that's really promising because that shows me that things are becoming a little more automatic, um, that I'm practicing enough that posing is just kind of becoming second nature as opposed to something you have to like actively think through while you're doing it which is the goal i want to walk up there on show day and just not even have to think about it um like i remember from skating as a kid like you'd go out to do your routine and like you're sitting there in your opening pose waiting for the music to start and like you have no idea what those next steps are. Like every single time I remember going out there and being like, I don't know, I don't know what the next part is. <laughs> I'm blank. And then as soon as the music starts, as soon as it starts every single time, it's just like automatic. Like your body knows what to do, your brain can shut off. So that's, that's the goal with this too. Like I know the adrenaline's gonna kick in day of and you're gonna get up there and with the bright lights and knowing that there's people watching you, it's gonna be hard to sit there and focus. Damn, the lighting over here. Damn. Anyways, um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to like think through every step and you don't want to, like you don't want the judges to see you actively thinking the next step. It should look so effortless. So that's the goal. I'm starting to feel it. I can tell it's becoming more second nature. Um, I think my transitions like out of my poses and leaving the stage still need work. Um, I'm still kind of being like, okay, what arm do I throw up and what hip do I pop out? And if I'm coming on this way, then I, that means I leave this way. So therefore this is my backhand. Like there's just that kind of stuff, but there's still 16 weeks. And the fact that I'm feeling this, um, I won't say confident because I'm not a posing expert and I probably will never be until I am maybe a one day 50 something year old retired. I don't know. I don't know how far this is going. I don't want to jump ahead. But if I were to take this far, like I don't think you're ever going to stop learning posing. You're never going to be the expert. Um, but I'm liking where I am at at 16 weeks out because I know for some people posing is the last thing they think about and then it comes down to crunch time and suddenly they have to learn the routines. They have to learn how to make it second nature. They have to learn how to smile and choreograph their face and their hands and all the minute details that like you probably don't even think you need but are really important. So overall for today, good workout, better than I thought it would be considering I've had, I don't know, maybe four or five hours of sleep. I think I forgot to mention earlier, but I did hit a new low weigh-in today. Nothing crazy. Um, I think my last low weigh-in was 141.4 and today was 141 even. So I'm not gonna sit here and like be like, oh my God, <laughs> crazy new low weigh-in, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, well that wraps up the gym portion of today. I'm gonna go home. I have some egg whites to eat. And then I'm gonna clean myself up and go to the mall and get my dress tailored. Yes. Okay. See you guys in a bit. But they do not want to drive the same dull 50s cars their parents drove. You see, kids today, they want glamour. I don't know if I did. I don't think so. It's a very thin plastic. Mm. It's good. Thank God. Personally disappoints me. I'm not calling side Mario's.
Yeah. Yeah. Not disappointed. Mm mm. Push the right shoulder down. Good. More. And and left arm down a bit more. Good. Better job with the hat for sure. Okay. And quarter turn. Morning. It's about nine in the morning, so I'm still waking up. I'm still caffeinating, but just wanted to come on, come on here, um, and close out this vlog for um, 16 weeks out. Just one fun little tidbit. Did wake up, weighed myself this morning, and I've hit a new low. Um, it's kind of been interesting lately. My weight loss this time around has been so much more gradual and slow, but steady, um, compared to our quick little cut that we did in the spring. So that's totally fine by me because that means we're not doing anything drastic, but it's working. So this morning I was 140.8 and my last low weigh in on Sunday was 141 even. So not a huge weight loss by any means, but that's the first time that I've seen 140 on the scale in a really long time. Since like high school, probably. Nuts. But yeah, that's going to be it for 16 weeks out. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video, the little update. Um, and as always, if you haven't done so already, Please like the video, drop a comment on what you want to see in the future, and subscribe. And you know, follow my Instagram, because that's where most of my updates happen. So, thanks for watching guys, love you lots, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!